So you just have a quick demo of these lights working and I want to show you the hardware before I get to the software. So you don't need too many things. So what I have here is a USB mic that is connected to the Pi. I have a Pi 3 working here and it, this should work on a Pi 2 and a Pi 4 as well. I haven't tested this on either of the other ones but they are similar hardware so they should work. I'm using a power bank for this demo. Uh, normally you would plug this into the wall because you know it does use up a lot, a lot of uh, power so my power bank if I had it on a power bank it'll only last for a little while you need a micro SD card to install Raspberry, uh, Raspberry Pi OS say call now uh, if you don't already have and a W S2812B LED strip I am powering the LED strip through my Pi so these are 5 volts um, strips and I am connecting power to power ground to ground and the data pin is going into pin 18 as you'll see configured in the software real soon we're gonna start setting up the software which should be fairly easy and much simpler than it was before so let's go there now so you just saw the hardware setup now let's take a look at the software uh, before I get on get any further with the software I just want to give a shout out to Jeremy D who has become my first patron on patreon I've not been a big uh, push pusher of patreon i mean i've had it for a few years but i've never marketed it anywhere so um thank you jeremy for supporting me and for giving me a little push towards uh updating some of these old repositories uh, and this github, github repository is fairly newly updated and try to make things as easy as possible for everyone um so you'll get you'll have all the steps you need here which i'll go through now I assume that you also know how to set up your Pi in headless mode, that you can SSH into it. If you don't know, I have a tutorial for that. It's my first Raspberry Pi tutorial called Headless Raspberry Pi, so feel free to check that out. I also have updated the audio reactive LED tutorial on easyprogramming.net. It's different from the old tutorial. Uh, it has much fewer steps and has some more information on the software setup as well, which I will go through right now. Again, you'll see all of this change. So I am connected to my Pi. I usually install Raspberry Pi OS Lite, which means I don't even have Git installed. So I'm actually just gonna follow the steps that I have here. I'll install Git. It takes a couple seconds. So that took a little bit, and if next thing we want to do is we want to clone our repository here. So I did merge my latest changes to master, so you don't have to check out a special branch. So I'll do git clone, paste that in here, and this will clone the repository into my Raspberry Pi here. So we can see that the Dancy Pi Audio Reactive LED project is here. So I'll just go into it. Um, maybe easier to show you the the structure here so we're going to work mo exclusively in the python directory here um, and we'll look at the install as well so in the install directory i have a couple of files the one thing that you just the one file that you should just pay attention to is install.py setup.py isn't uh, fully functional at the moment so install.py is just running a bunch of um, command line installs and making some changes to configuration files for your audio um, and it does it all in one go instead of having a uh, hundred different steps that you need to take. It also includes the RPI WS281X library, which used to be by itself, I think, uh, like 10 or 11 steps uh, in the past, where you have to make and build and blah, blah, blah. So let's go into our Python directory, install directory, right? And we have a sound.configuration, which will go into our, our ATC folder, install.py. What we want to do is we want to do sudo python3, uh, it's actually clear, right, sudo python3 install.py. Uh, and this setup can take uh, anywhere from a few seconds to maybe 10 or 15 minutes depending on your internet speed and how many of these dependencies it actually needs to update. And with the magic of video editing, let's skip to the end. And we're back. That took uh, about five or six minutes for me um, to install everything. I try and you know provide useful information in the install.py script here. Um, also, uh, one thing is that I modify the also.configuration uh, conf file, and I do create a backup here, so it gets backed up into a file called also.conf.back. So if you run this multiple times, uh, it'll just override that file, but 
at least once it'll have a backup. So let's do this again. Okay, so we're gonna go up one and let's take a look at what we have here. So we have, you know, our visualization of PY here. That's what we will be running. But before I do that, let's take a look at our repository, um, our readme file and see what we should look at. So config.py, which is located here, uh, we're gonna go here. Um, I have modified it a little bit from the original Scott Lawson's README um, uh, repository well, where I updated the mic grade, the FPS, and the number of pixels, which I, my, pi, my LED strip is 144, so we should um, change that uh, as you see fit. It should be a multiple of two, so you should not put 143 because um, I, I think it'll uh, screw up some of the division and fail. Um, I'm not using a GUI, and display as FPS by default is actually true. Um, so I just changed that uh, because I, for this demo at least, I wanted to show the FPS being shown here. Um, and we can control the uh, the visualization type as an argument with, when we run visualization up UI. And it should actually be pseudo Python 3, so I'll change that as well. So let's run a quick test here, pseudo Python 3. So if everything worked, um, it should run. So there we go. Oh, there you go, it run. So you can see it, it's turning on based on my voice. If I clap a little bit. So that's my snaps and it, it, it works pretty well. So let's actually do uh, spectrum. Hello, hello, test. Works really well. And the last one is energy, blah, -de blah, -de blah. And see if I do control C, uh, it actually leaves the lights on. It doesn't turn them off because uh, I, I just cut it off mid-process. So I included a cool, really small script here called off.py. So if you want to just turn the lights off, you can do sudo python3 off.py and it just cycles the lights and turns them off um, so that uh, you don't have to you know, run them and then you know, find, a, find a good way to do it. So um, uh, one of the updates I want to do is make this part of visualization.py so that you can all do it, do it all in one go. Uh, but anyways, let's do a quick demo of, and uh, let's play some music and see what this looks like. And so let's do visualization scroll. Uh, one thing I will mention is that you do need the sudo uh, sudo uh, Python 3 because uh, the the pins that we're using will only work on sudo uh, sudo I believe so if you just do Python 3 it'll say uh, can't run or can't find something so I'm going to run this and I'm going to play some music here you can see the FPS going here so. So I will say that your mic's quality can affect um, 
the, the quality of the lights and how well it recognizes the different beats. You'll, you've seen in the, in the song that I've played that some beats tend to uh, just um, like really overshadow the rest of them. So I, I'm keeping it on with my, with my voice right now. The microphone is pretty far away, so I'm trying to project a little bit. Uh, in the work, so you know, scroll is my favorite. We do have um, energy. Uh, it's it's brighter, uh, but it doesn't always light up all the lights. I feel like scroll goes through all of them, and then spectrum is the last one, which is I think the default in the original repository. But I've made scroll the default here. So, anyways, if you have questions, if you do run into issues, I'm I'm hoping that you know just this one step of uh, installation and not really even having to worry about configurations. Uh, makes things a lot easier for you. If you have questions, ask uh, in the comments below. On easyprogramming.net, there's a comment section at the very bottom, uh, as well as open a, an issue on GitHub, uh, on the, in the GitHub repository. I am pretty uh, responsive. And of course, trying to remember to you know support me on Patreon, I do respond to questions there as well. Um, it, all of these methods are better than emailing me. I, I don't check the emails that I use here, um, uh, my easyprogramming.net emails uh, too often. Uh, I check those once a week or two. So anyways, blah. That's all. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Have a great one.